Today we have a different kind of a haul for you. Instead of a grocery haul today, we're going to show you our haul of items that we have bought and collected for our vacation. So we are going to be going on a cruise and we've first been time first time ever going on a cruise. So we've been watching a lot of videos uh, from people who go on cruises all the time and they give really good advice about things that you should take with you that you might not take on other trips, but that will be helpful for you on a cruise. And some of this stuff will be good for other vacations as well. Yes, but specific, some of these are very specific to a cruise. So uh, we're going to start with these shirts back here in the back. And this stuff could also be used other places too. Yes. So I always wear a t-shirt to when we go out to the beach or if I went to the pool or whatever I would always wear a t-shirt in the pool or the ocean. So uh, someone recommended these sun shirts. They're long sleeve like quick dry kind of uh, shirts that keep your arms covered and you don't get sunburn. So we bought these at Sam's Club. I have not even tried these on. I tried the other ones on, but not these. Um, these are the Hurley brands and they were pretty cheap at Sam's Club. They, they weren't that much, uh, honestly. Haven't we seen people wear these to play golf? In yeah. Florida? Oh yeah. Yeah. In, in Florida, you see a lot of people in Florida wearing these because they're running around the golf course and they don't want to get their arms burnt. Right. Um, plus I'm getting older, you know, I don't need all that sun on me. So this is good to protect yourself from the sun, not only on a cruise, but just anywhere. Right. Just anywhere. And then these, these I actually bought off Amazon. I actually bought these before the other ones and I can kind of show you what it looks like. You can see the long, it's got long sleeves. Uh, one of them had like where you stick your thumb in and the other one did not. This one does. So when you get, get your hand in there, you stick your thumb in there and it keeps it down around your wrist. Mm -hmm. Um, so it doesn't slide up Right. and the other one does not. The other one's just gray. Um, but I think they'll be good in the, in, on the beach or when we go to the pool or whatever. These um, are beach shoes, water shoes, whatever, however you want to call them. Uh, Tammy bought a pair and then I bought a pair. We had never had these before, but we, um, the beach that we're going to um, is going to be, it's going to have lots of shells and rocks, yeah, right? Yeah, they said it was pretty rocky. And so they said it can really tear your feet up. And honestly, I think these would have come in handy in Hawaii. Oh yeah, I would have worn these out in the if, ocean if, in, at Hawaii. Yeah, if we had had these in Hawaii, then this would have been perfect. Then uh, because there's a lot of rocky grounds in Hawaii. Yes, <laughs> so I can't wait to use these yeah, to and, see how they feel. And they drain. They have little holes in the bottom, so the water drains out, and they're supposed to drain uh, and dry out pretty quickly, so you don't have wet feet. But you, you can wear them the whole time you're walking around, or you can just wear them down to the beach and and take them and and take them off and right. put them in a bag or something and put your regular shoes But you can on. literally walk off the boat down to the bay. Like you can wear them like a regular pair of shoes. You can. They're thin though. So just know that the soles are not padded at they're all. They're not meant really. for you they're, to walk two miles. Yeah, or, I wouldn't yeah. walk on a hike with them or anything. Right. Um, then Ashley bought this water bottle because, you know, we fear we would be taking water with us to uh, to the beach. So um, And it has a handle. And it has a handle where you can hang, you could carry it or you could hook it on a backpack or something like that. So we bought that. Ashley bought that one. She, we, Ashley already has two with handles. And uh, so she has one for, for herself and for me. And then we needed to get one for Kevin. So we actually bought this at TJ Maxx. It was $12.99. Um, and she said she wasn't familiar with this brand specifically, but we, we thought it would do. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good enough. What do you want to talk about next? The you can talk about um, this hanging, um, what do you call this? Like it's a, a shoe, shoe. It's, it's a, a shoe, shoe rack. Yeah, it's a shoe holder or whatever. A shoe holder. And it actually, these things, these hooks come with it. Yeah, it hooks over your door. So you can either put shoes in it or you can put your toiletries. So like Ashley and I could put uh, shampoo, makeup, whatever. Uh, yeah, because space is, the bathrooms are fairly small on a cruise They ship, said so. that space is very, very limited, and so this really helps with space. Although, this is one of those things that you could definitely take on any other trip. If you're in a small room anywhere to save room, you could take this on any trip, yeah. not just a cruise. Yeah, think about the London rooms we've had, the, the little hotel rooms in London. They don't have a lot of storage space in the bathroom. Right, so, so, so this would come in handy, yes. So then just random little toiletries that, that we've bought. Um, I mean, I already have a lot of stuff, but this is stuff that I buy this for every trip. I usually buy two bottles of this uh, Listerine. We also will have, that I don't have right here, is uh, toothbrushes. 
we will buy a package of toothbrushes and toothpaste that we can just throw away and i don't have those in here right now but we that will be added later i also buy two uh, little things of hairspray because i like hairspray and i'm always afraid i'll run out so i take two we were recommended this downy wrinkle releaser uh, they've said you are not allowed to take um, an, iron or an iron or like a steam iron with you on, uh, in, on the ship. So if you buy this downy wrinkle releaser, it's supposed to help with your clothes. Uh, we're, we bought some uh, sun bum uh, to spray on our body, but then you are not allowed. Supposedly uh, you're not, you're not supposed, you have to have sea safe stuff on the islands. On the islands. So we bought, and this was very expensive. I don't remember how much this was, was on Amazon. Yeah. yeah, but it's a little bitty bottle, but we're only going to need it for one day. One day. Um, but it's sea safe. So it says marine friendly sunscreen. Take me to the beach. So we're going to be using that. I bought a little thing of deodorant. Uh, two things of uh, toothpaste. So yeah, since you bought toothpaste, you may not need the toothpaste and toothbrush combo combo some cheap toothbrushes. might just but yeah i'll probably just buy some yeah ch some cheap toothbrushes which i don't have in here but i'll i will be adding those um i went to bath and body works and i got some of these little uh hand sanitizer things this is more expensive to buy them this way than to buy them other ways but i like the size of these and yeah, they fit in my pockets really good on camera around. yeah so i chose three of the boardwalk vanilla cone i love this scent and then i chose two of a thousand wishes and we all like that so we will use we'll go through a bunch of these on the the trip i also bought some clorox disinfecting wipes i can use these anywhere i can use them on the plane for the um, the tray that comes down, if I need that, I can use it for the the hand the handle on the, uh, the the plane. I can use it once we get to the room for the door handles or wherever I want in the room. But those are always nice to have. That's kind of cool. And then this is uh, poopery. It's before you go. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> is before you go toilet spray. Kevin and I did a whole review on YouTube of poopery. Now I bought this on Amazon and it came in this five pack and, and I like it that it's a little bitty, uh, it's almost like a lipstick size or a chapstick size container, but the, because the rooms are very small, you're going to be in there for, you know, a little, uh, what, a week with each other. Uh, this is just nice and considerate to have of everybody that's in the room because you're, you're going to go to the bathroom at some point. We all do. <laughs> and so it's nice. You spray this in the toilet before you go and it really helps to eliminate the odors. And then we These have are beach towel clips. There's eight of them in here. And this you clip on your uh, the top to hold the towel down on the chair. Are you going to be taking those out of the box to take oh, them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I just didn't even think about taking I them out. I didn't either. I, I wondered. There's a little thing behind me. I wondered if, because uh, we won't want to pack. You the know, box, yeah. yeah, when you get the, uh, stuff on Amazon, of course, it comes in a box and you have to take it all out. So we just, we had not opened these yet. Yeah, we'll take them out of the plastic. Yeah, so you just take them. Um, you know. So this is to use for your. You take your, your towel down to your beach chair and uh -huh. you, you clip it on the back. So that it doesn't keep sliding off. Right. Oh, it's on the piece of cardboard. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. So you just take it and you got the back of the chair and you take your towel and lay it over the top and you just clip it on and it keeps from blowing away. And once again, that's something that you can use anywhere, yeah. anytime. I mean, you and could you get away with home. not having them at all? Sure, you could. You could. Uh, but how many times have we been down at um, somewhere and it's like we, we wish we'd had some other right. or something like exactly. that? Right. Exactly. So now, what are what is this right, right here? So these are now when you go to. Um, when you get your pack, your information for the cruise, the luggage tag is this paper thing in there. Um, you can print those out and you fold them over your luggage handles and that way they know what room to take them to when you get to the ship. So when you get to the ship, they take your luggage and put it in your room for you. These are luggage tags to let them know where to put them. So what they look like inside is these, these little plastic like pouches. And then you get these little metal um, cables that... Um, that go around the ends to hold them on your luggage. Um, these are really durable. You can use them for whatever. You can put your name or whatever in there. But specifically for a cruise, 
this is the size that goes on it. And these are more reliable than just taking a piece of paper and wrapping it around the handle and stapling it or taping it. These are going to stay on. You could put these through the check luggage at the airport if you wanted to. We don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. Okay. And so then we, what are these? Air, these are the Apple that AirTags, um, okay. you know, finders. And I just bought the key ring things to go with them. So the, the, the actual tag is the metal part underneath. And then the little plat, the... Well, it's this part right here, that white and silvery part. So what is this? Exactly? And the, these are to, uh, many people have recommended putting them in your luggage. Um, so you know where your luggage is in the airport, um, heck, on a ship to make sure you know where it's at on the so ship. So it's like a little beacon. Yeah, it's like a little beacon and um, it just helps you find things. You so, can hook this to your keys if you're at home. Um, you can put these on your keys and if you ever lose your keys, you can go find your keys too. So... Uh, do you have some an app on your phone? Yeah, there's an app on your phone. Okay, so that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. So, so you would leave this in the luggage, yep. and you have an app on your phone. So, if you want to check to where your see where your luggage is, yeah, you, you can, check the app. Yep, you can check your app. Okay, you I have seen people use these at Disney, so to know where they park their car because oh, yeah. because if they they park their car and then they forget at the end of the that, day, as you do, uh, where you're parked, they use these. Uh, so you can use them over and over and over again. Yeah, they. The batteries in them last for like um, a year or two, something like that. Okay. And they're just little button batteries you could change. These came, basically when I ordered those, you could get these for pretty cheap. These were fabric tags, and um, I haven't opened them. I hate to open them. Well, well don't then. If, are if, they open? They might be open. If you're not going to need to. Are. Okay. Um, these, you can basically stick an air tag inside of them. And you can put this inside your luggage. So the tag goes in the back and you stick this inside your luggage. And that way it's not something loose that they can just take out. Uh, this one's kind of hidden. And you could stick it in the side underneath something and you're probably not going to see that. So and maybe somebody wouldn't go, say it. Yeah, yeah, so they couldn't steal your luggage or anything. The only bad thing I've noticed about these, and they said this on the thing, is since they are stuck to the back, mm -hmm. that to change the battery, you basically have to pull it off and you can't reuse it. You have Once to tear it up. Yeah, yeah, you have to basically tear it up to replace right. the battery. So it wouldn't be something you would want to keep an air tag in like all the time. Right. Um, I mean, uh, you wouldn't want to put an air tag in there that you'd want to reuse. This right. would be something you'd want to leave in your luggage or wherever all the time. Right. Yeah. But like I said, these were really, really cheap uh, when I bought them with the, with the air tag. Um, we needed a new handle for Tammy's phone. We're going to try it out because the way she holds her phone, um, just kind of, it wears your hand out. So this is a, not only, um, does it have an, just a, a tripod, but then you've got this ball joint where you can, you can adjust it to where, where you can put it at different angles and you can also, um, open the legs up. And if we're at a table somewhere eating something, you can just put your phone on there. Oh, and, I love and that. And put it up. And if you want a little bit higher, now it doesn't go a lot higher. If it goes a little bit higher, you can raise it up just a little bit. Yeah, I love that. Because I'm always holding my camera yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And this is so, you know, if we're eating lunch or something and you want to, um, Tammy wants to film something or film the restaurant while we're just sitting there eating or something, she could do that. This one is has an additional like little thing on the side where you could put a... Uh, a hot shoe thing, like a light or something like a microphone or something. We don't have one of those, but it came with it. So it's whatever. Oh, you know, something we didn't get out was uh, I, I bought some new muffs. They're right, they're right there. Oh, is that this? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hadn't gotten a well, world since I brought it up. Yeah. These are Tammy's uh, camera. The, the little windscreen, uh, the little dead cat is almost what they call them. Uh, the little wind muffs, um, the one she had was wearing out and falling well, off. Well, I lost my last one. Yeah, she lost it completely. It was a Velcro thing. Yeah. So this one isn't as expensive. That one came from like the UK. It came from the UK. And you can't hardly get them. They're really, really expensive. So this one's a little different. It's a double stick tape. And then you get these little, they look like dead mice in here. But you get these little things that stick on top of the circle of a um, double stick tape and it just keeps the wind from being uh, in your video so it's for my camera yeah. for the top of my camera so um you know when you're out especially if you're out on the ocean on the moving ocean, yeah. um you're gonna i would assume you're gonna get a lot of wind so this is gonna we needed this anyway so it doesn't, doesn't really matter but this is not specifically cruise stuff but it is uh, i will need it for the trip yeah. and because i never use them otherwise usually if, unless, if, unless i were on a trip yeah 
Uh, so these these are uh, they're they, magnets. They're magnets, and you can use these on the walls in your cabin. And uh, people have said that they're great to put. They give you a paper itinerary, and you can put your paper itinerary. Uh, you can clip them and put them up on the wall, or anything else that you want. I mean, it technically you could clip in. You could clip a, a, a bag strap in there and have it hanging yeah. on the wall. And they're pretty strong magnets, it seems. Um, and then we also have these hooks. Right, these are magnet hooks too. They said that in a, in a on a cruise room, you don't have a lot of uh, space to like put stuff. So these are all the walls are ma are metal. So these are little magnetic hooks you can you can stick to the wall and you can hang your um, you know your your well, tags or whatever. Well, we've seen people wearing lanyards. Yeah, I don't know if I want to wear a lanyard around all the so time. So if you're wearing a lanyard, you could come in the room every night. You know, if you've got a bunch of kids, a bunch of people, you can hang your have a place to hang your lan yeah. uh, lanyard. Not um, be able to hang your bag on it and things like I've that. I've also seen in videos, cruise videos, mm -hmm. where if it's like grandma and grandpa or even mom and dad taking like the teenage son on a trip, they'll buy a shower curtain. Oh. And hang it and on they'll the hang it on, on the, the ceiling. ceiling for privacy and they'll hang this up and then they'll put the shower curtain up for privacy and between the the child's bed and and their bed and mm -hmm. it's just you know it's just uh, an added comfort for yeah. you if you want some privacy and then lastly what is this this goes to my i have a, um, a an action camera um the dji it's an older one but it works perfect um it fits in here like just like that and this goes around your neck so the one i have instead of buying the big chest strap that goes on you wear on your chest and it looks like you're wearing a, uh, a man bra or something like that this one and it's really cumbersome it's really heavy this one just goes around your neck like a necklace and you put your camera on here you flip it up and you can you can record and it doesn't get in the way or anything. This is just a really nice way for you, me to film um, while we're walking around places without having to hold a camera or. Um, so it literally like goes over your yeah, over your I head. Can show it if you oh want. yeah, sure. Oh, I forgot you got an unclip. I was gonna say, is it that like is not gonna fit over my head? <laughs> is it like a lantern that you're going under the house? Because that's what it looked like. Ah, okay. Now it's kind of finicky to clip, but. But once you get it, you once get that, it. And even people that complain about this, that's the biggest complaint people say is it's really, really finicky to get it clipped. Once it's in, it's in. Anyway, I'll, I'll do it whenever. But it goes around your neck and it's really soft. You can adjust it and then the camera just sits right there and you can walk around and film stuff as you're walking around. And be hands-free. Hands-free and, and you don't have this huge, this looks really weird and awkward. But it, trust me, it's nothing like that double strap around your chest. The, yes. You know, if I was surfing or something, it would be different. I would need something really stable. This one's going to bounce if I really were to bouncy castle it, but um, it's not going to bounce around with me just walking. So, right. Yeah. So those are the things we bought for our trip. Um, I will link whatever I can below in case you're interested. You can look right below this video. There's going to be a description and um, I'll link whatever I can. Of course, the, the Hydra fly, uh, the, Hydra Peak bottle. We got that at TJ Maxx. And these are just regular things, you know, Bath and Body Works, whatever, uh, Walmart, Walmart. But anything that I can link below, I will. And, and I waited for the air tags. They're kind of expensive. I waited till they went on sale. So oh, that's like smart. Twenty-five percent off at one time. We have noticed a lot of times if you go to Amazon, if you put something in your cart. If you on are on your list, if you wait a little while, a lot of times it'll go on sale. And I think that's done on purpose so that you'll go ahead and buy it. I'm sure. And I mean, that's a good gimmick because um, they usually we do end up buying stuff. So, you know, if you're interested in something on Amazon, put it in the cart and see within, what, a week or so, mm -hmm. it will probably, they'll probably notify you. That yeah, it's I going on sale. There. Is that what they did? They emailed you, or did no, you that, have to I go? Was, I was on a. I, I'm on a technology. Oh, pages, okay. And they were. That was one of the things they said. They're that's one of the lowest prices ever, and they said they were on sale. So okay. I bought them. Okay. So you can let us know if you've been on a cruise before. Um, you know, it would, if you, if you see something in here, you're like, ah, you probably won't use that. Or yes, you will use that. You'll be glad about that. You can let us know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.